Hold on. Mm. We got to do something to this. Conway, you starting it. It's on you, brother. I need some heat. I need it right now. Please. Come on, Conway. Griselda, let's get it. Got cold out, snowed in fell. Real chilly out, and y'all done forgot about chill. But it's all good though, cause we back. We back, bitch. Yes. Yo, what's good? This is Chill back with another first listen. Before we even get started, I want to give a shout out to the viewers, man. I've been seeing a couple consistent names. Little homie Deuce, what up, man? IPA Ray, what's up with you? Jamie, what's cracking? Walrus IO, all them dudes over there. I know they've been checking it. Half pint. See Fiasco Z Red. Shout out to everybody who've been checking out my videos, all the feedback. I greatly appreciate it, man. This is probably gonna be my last one. Maybe one more before I do my top 10 albums of 2019. But let's go ahead and get back to it. Y'all know what time it is. Griselda, Westside Gun, Conway, Derringer, Benny the Butcher, Griselda, what would Sheen Gun do? I don't know who Sheen Gun is. One of their homies. I'm not sure. I didn't do too much research, man. This dropped on me as a surprise. It was actually last week. I think it dropped. Super excited. This is 13 songs, 46 minutes. Y'all know how I give it up to Griselda, man. This is their first release on Shady. They've been doing all their projects. I think they've been doing them independently. Dope album cover, man. I don't know who that is. I like, I like what they do. Black and white. Some strange woman. I have no idea who this is. Woman or man. But I'm excited to hear it. Got some dope features on here, man. I'm seeing Raekwon the Chef. Uh, we got 50 Cent. That's going to be interesting. Of course, Eminem with Bang. I think it's the remix of her Bang the original. Did not like that track solely because of Eminem. I just didn't think it fit. But let's not even waste no more time, man. We got Griselda. What would Sheen Gun do or WWCD? Let's get it. All right, coming in at track number one, we got Marcello featuring Raekwon the Chef. The Chef. Wu Tang. It's the Wu. I like this shit. All right, so that was track number one, really an intro. Marcello featuring Raekwon the chef, you know, just talking this shit, man, giving him a fly intro. I love, I love that little ominous beat in the back, man. That shit was going. I think he did this on the last, uh, Hitler wears Hermes or Hermes, however you say it. The last Project Seven, I love that. I've been listening to that constantly. Actually, it was just Raekwon talking his shit, and I can appreciate it because I'm from that era, man. Wu Tang, the greatest crew collective, whatever you want to call them. That's Wu Tang, man. Let's go ahead and get to the next track. All right, coming in at track number two, we got Chef Dreads. <laughs> decent so far man i definitely like the rapping from benny benny is my dude Westside comes in with his different style man but not hitting me so far man i know we only the second track in but it's not hitting me yet i need that i need that shit man y'all know what i come over here to griselda for i come over there for a specific feel and i need that shit let's get it All right, so that was track number two, Chef Dreads. Uh, pretty decent, all three of them on it. Only one who slid out really was Benny to me. That flow was just impeccable. What I mean, Westside came in, you know, did his thing. Conway did his, but Benny stuck out the most to me. Didn't love the instrumental, did not hate it either. I want to see what they do next, man, because uh, that was a that was a cool little lead in that first track and that second track. But I'm gonna need a little bit more to get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number three, we got Moselle. This the theme music for the five structures. Yeah.
all right so that was track number three moselle a uh, pretty decent track man wasn't bad at all i definitely liked the instrumental it was very subtle but the way they were rapping over it it was a little bit better man it worked for me of course benny killing it conway killing it west side gun it was dope I, I fuck with that track man one thing i realized listening to his last project on that uh hitler wears hermes um i believe he got that boo 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 or boo 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 from um eddie guerrero because i heard it in the skit on one of those tracks and i didn't like i i used to watch wrestling a lot am i gonna say i'm a wrestling head because i'm i'm not a historian i don't have the facts right there on the tip but i definitely was aware of eddie guerrero I loved it when he was wrestling and i didn't know that came from him i guess i didn't pay t enough attention to the promos they cut that's dope but let's go ahead and get to the next one all right coming in at track number four we got cruiserweight coke these titles bro let's get it yeah. you know what the fuck is up, nigga? hold on mm. we got to do something to this conway you starting it it's on you brother i need some heat i need it right now please come on conway griselda let's get it all right it's early my bad because i just stopped it before this bro don't this sound like the intro to one of these wrestling cats just listen to it it sound like the like the intro with eight the old like what was it 90s 90s era because i'm i'm 87 so it's been that era right after the, like it sounded like wrestling entrances to me derringer west side conway benny y'all fool for this especially derringer that's their in-house producer let's go ahead and get back to it i don't want to waste no more time i feel this shit all right so that was track number four cruiserweight coke dope dope track man i love the feel of it as soon as it started sometimes when that track start you just feel some type of way and i felt that shit when it started bro pause like that was dope i say conway west side then benny on that one i'm only ranking because it's just it's just fun to do but yeah conway definitely got off on that shit he started it out and he was like yeah i'm about to go ahead and uh knock this shit out the park but let's go ahead and get to the next track man all right next up track number five we got freddie hotspot what you coming nigga I like the sample. Please tell me if anybody else making tracks that sound like this, bro. I'm not talking about rapping. I'm talking about production-wise. Who's making shit that sounds like this and don't say Alchemist? Outside of that, who's doing this type of shit, bro? And the way they be infusing wrestling bars, wrestling themes, fucking catchphrases, this shit different, bro. I'm not saying it's the most innovative shit in this world, but I like it. Get back to it. Uh yes see what i'm saying this shit here bro this shit here somebody need to get that man danger this dude out here tripping all right so that was track number five freddy hotspot dope track man i actually liked everybody's verse now and i'm not even mad I like that whole thing. Like I said, Danger out here doing different things, man. I fuck with him. Not even wasting more time. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number five, we got Dr. Birds. Mm, come on, man. Yeah, this is going in the workout mix. Uh, 
This shit going. I'm fucking with this. That's just for one sip. The drum rip leave you rich. Hide the body for a week and it's gonna leave a stench. On those street, this white shit that I pitch. Two in the morning on the corner, night shift with my whip. No soda in and every man don't got a any skill. When you lift dope, it take me 50 mil just to sit me still. Ten on my lip. I really had a chicken with a tree stamp like I stepped on it with a Timberland. Put your nigga. Like I said, somebody get your man's Derringer, bro. Y'all here bugging again. All right, so that was track number six, Dr. Birds. Fucking dope, man. Uh, I think that may be it. That may be my favorite. Between five, four, five, and six, this run right now they're going on is kind of dope. Don't get me wrong, the first couple was dope. But these, four, five, and six so far, Cruiserweight Coke, Freddy Hotspot, and then Dr. Birds, my feel. I need this. This is the energy I've been needing, man. I wish I would have heard this shit last week. I'm loving this. This is definitely a lot. These three is going in the rotation in my workout mix, man. I got it on Spotify. If you want it, let me know. I'll share it with you. But let's not waste no more time. Let's get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number seven, we got the old groove featuring Novell. Yeah. <laughs> Side going right now, bro. All right, so that was track number seven, The Old Groove featuring Novell. Dope fucking track, man. That instrumental was smooth. That second part, the beat change up with Novell, dope. I'm like, I'm liking it so far. Like I said, they on a four track run for me, man. This, this is going. I'm excited to hear some more. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number eight, we got Scotty's. All right, so that was track number eight, Scotty's. It was only two minutes and 32 seconds. I didn't think it was gonna be that dope, bro. I'm fucking with it. This five track run, bro. They do this a lot. I appreciate it, man. Benny and Conway, savages. I'm not gonna waste no more time. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. Next up, we got track number nine, Kennedy, featuring Tiana Denise. West side, you wildin'. I'm just gonna put that out there. All right, so that was track number nine. Uh, I guess it was a skit. Kennedy featuring Tiana Denise. Just them saying, blow your fucking face off. Him back and forth with her. Like a duet, kind of. But didn't really feel it. Normally, I'm here for this shit. But that was kind of that was kind of weird. That was kind of like a wasted track. But it's their project, not mine. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number 10. This is one I'm pretty intrigued by. This is City on the Map featuring 50 Cent. <laughs> they are label mates. See how this goes. Uh, uh, 50 and Griselda. Uh, 50 out. gonna float on this shit. Oh, 50. I see you, Pip. I see you, Pip. I 
Salute to you, Fifth. Thank you. That was not a bullshit verse, bro. That was hard. You matched the vibe. Thank you. That was cold. Let's get back to it. All right, so that was track number 10, City on the Map featuring 50 Cent. That was dope. Conway Snap, 50 Cent Snap. That was cold. Yeah, I'm here for this, man. I definitely like that track. Banger, Derringer, you snapped. Griselda, you got one. Go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number 11, we got May Store featuring Keisha Plum. Oh man, Keisha, you kind of scaring me, girl. You kind of scaring me with that shit. All right, so that was track number eleven. May Store featuring Keisha Plum. Not a bad track at all, man. It was pretty dope. Westside kind of start fooling towards the end, but that's what he does, man. He's unorthodox. That nigga does what he wants. But Keisha did her thing like she always does. Like I said, didn't have the same energy that 4 to 10 had, but get to the next track. All right, coming in at track number 12, this is Laurie featuring Bro AA Rashid. This is AA Outro. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the same dude from the last project. I'm good on this. This is like, the album was like, it was hitting its stride, and then you gonna go into this shit. Hopefully, it don't keep being like this, because I'm ready to get to the last one. Actually, maybe not. Be graceful. Praise God. God bless the dead. The answers the All right, so that was track number 12. Laurie featuring Bro AA Rashid. And it did say AA outro, and I should have. I should have took that for what it said. Didn't really like it, I could have skipped it. I'm not talking shit, it's just like, I didn't really like that, I didn't, did not enjoy it. One minute, 58 seconds, and I was like, two, like 30 seconds in, I was like, no, nah, bro. Everything's not for everybody. Let's go ahead and get to this last track. All right, coming in to my favorite number, number 13, the last track on the project. Hopefully not the least, even though I've heard the original. This is Bang, featuring Eminem, the remix. If you haven't seen my first listen I did for the bang track they put out, I didn't really enjoy it. I like Conway's part. I just when it got to Eminem, and I love Eminem. I'm an Eminem fan. His style did not fit the vibe of the song. To me, it just didn't work. But let's go ahead and check out this track. Bang remix featuring Eminem. Alright, so you heard, since this is the remix, you've heard Conway, you heard a little bit of Westside, and you heard some Benny. You feel the vibe. Please tell me if M's fit this. I'm not trying to convince you, I simply want to know. I don't know if I'm bugging, if my ear is off, because I love him, I'm an Eminem fan. But for some reason, if he spits that same verse he did on the original on this shit, bro, it does not fit to me. He snaps, I'm not saying the verse is bad, it just doesn't fit. Let's see, man. I used to be a man of the people. Hit the clubs and mingo. Used to dream one day I'd be fucking pink like a flamingo. Why, M? Why? It just didn't work. And I've been wanting to see M collab with the Griselda crew. Let's get back to it, man. Compare him to scats. I'm picking him off. They're going home to fuck picking and dash. Pop. Compare me to hickety dash. Pop. I'm hickety hitting it raw. Pop. All right, so that was the last track, Bang, featuring Eminem, the remix. Um, not digging it, man. I, I love the additions because they weren't on the original West Side briefly, and then Benny Snap. Some Eminem just didn't fit, even when West Side came with his way out of left field shit. 
it still worked. But for some reason, when M jumped on, it was like, what? And I, I felt what he was saying. He was saying some dope shit, but I don't think that fit on this beat, man. They even switched it up, tried to cater it to him, and it didn't work. Please let me know if I'm bugging, because I do that from time to time. I just want to know. The project as a whole, I dug it, man. The first couple was uh, but once you got from four to eight and then 10, I mean, I like most of them. I just didn't dig a few. So, hey, good project overall, man. I highly recommend it. What would Sheen Gun do? Rizelda. Like always, I greatly appreciate y'all checking out my videos. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. Like always, salute to my squad. Z Red, C Fiasco, Half Pint. Chill out.